Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. I'm going to show you that exact arrangement of Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Little kind of solo guitar arrangement that's really fun. It's pretty challenging. It's a little advanced, but great for technique and just really fun to be able to play that song and to uh, be able to maybe Rick roll someone on the guitar. That was the idea for this video, how to Rick roll someone on the guitar, which would be, you know, pretty easy because you would just say, uh, hey, babe, check out this uh, thing that I just learned by Eric Clapton. As long as you're playing in the key. They'll never see it coming, right? Or maybe this one. you go into the arrangement there as long as it's something you know something and i'm playing from the original key of the recording so if you play something in b flat minor and you have it roughly in the tempo you're going to play and then you just jump into the rick astley arrangement there um i don't know if anyone's actually going to do that but it'd be pretty funny right to do that so again it's just an excuse to teach you this uh, arrangement of never going to give you up so let's dive into just walking through step by step i don't have tabs for this or anything i'm just going to show you moment by moment chord by chord note for note how to play it we're going to walk through it and i'll switch to a view where you can see a diagram of what i'm playing as i play it let's jump in and by the way if you actually wanted to do that thing where you faked someone out you could do it if you were in b flat minor or if you were in uh, d flat major either one of those and then transition into what I'm going to show you here. So here's the arrangement. We'll go phrase by phrase here, just little, little bits at a time. Never gonna, okay, never gonna. This is five, six, one, six of this B D flat major key. That's how I'm thinking of it. You can also just think of it as a little kind of portion of this B flat minor pentatonic scale. I'm not, I like to do the Jimi Hendrix thing here where I'm actually double stopping. That means I'm playing these two notes at once and then the hammering on right here. That's very very Jimi Hendrix kind of sound. So I like that texture. And then going into it, you don't have to do that though. You can go either way. So we're going B flat minor triad, A flat major triad. Okay, that's the beginning thing. By the way, the tempo of the original recording is going to be nearly impossible to play this arrangement you know at that tempo so you'll you'll want to do it slower um i find that 90 is a good tempo the recording is like 115 beats per minute um and i got it up to like 100 or so when i was practicing it but uh, it's quite hard there's a lot of movement around so just enjoy you know, playing like a nice kind of slow guitar arrangement version of this will be should be really fun and much more manageable uh depending on where your technique skill level is at so after that then we're gonna go okay now this melody dun -dee -doo, dun -dee -doo, is pretty much this dun -dee -doo, but we're gonna go dun -dee -doo. no one's gonna know the difference i promise and that's just to make it a million times easier for us to land on this voicing now if that really bugs you i don't think it will i wouldn't make just random changes if it really changed the music right and if you happen to like notice that in my intro when i played it or something then feel free to go you know, do do what you need to do there for the, for the melody. But this is going, we're on this A flat uh, major chord. Do, do, de, do, one, two, three, one. So that works perfectly fine. Then we're gonna land on this voicing, which is a minor seven shell voicing. This is F minor seven shell voicing. Check out my video on shell voicings. Uh, if you don't know what those are, super, super handy. Okay, so we're gonna land right here. Fingers three, one, four. Okay, now for context, let's take it from the top for a sec. That's just because I wanted to have you hear how it moves to the next thing. So we're going down and then up for this melody note. Da, da, da. Then we're landing on this shell voicing. This is a B flat minor seven shell voicing. Okay, this is the hardest part because the timing is really weird. So we want to go, da, the melody goes da, 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 on this minor chord. Da, da, da. Okay, so I like to go and just pull that over just slide with the pinky and then do an upstroke 
don't mind the intonation on this guitar. I gotta get it set up, but it's good to use to show you the diagrams as I'm playing. But this, um, this is a B flat minor triad shape to get this melody on top. So I'm using some of my chord melody language, not 100%, but that's why the chord melody um, language stuff that I talk about on this channel a lot and uh, in my courses is so handy because then I can know, well, this is the melody note, what's the shape? Boom, there it is, right? That's the, the B flat note with the minor triad uh, supporting it. Okay, so we got... Okay, I'll play from the top. Okay, we hear that happening there. Now we're going to move over to this. Okay, and this is some specific picking direction stuff where I'm gonna go down, hammer on, down, up. Down, hammer on, down, up. Okay, that's really important. So then you're doing an up and you can come down for the full chord. Okay, this is a B flat minor triad. Okay. So after that, going up to this really quickly and then landing on this which is a flat major triad okay so I'll do this again from there first finger down this is the three of this chord too so da, do, da. okay da, do, da. and I'm gonna go down this is just my arrangement where I like to play that root note just to fill up the space. So it's gonna sound like this. And then, we're almost halfway through here, we're playing this voicing of F minor seven. It's a shell voicing again, one flat, three flat, seven. Don't worry about that theory if you're not interested in it. Then we land on B flat minor triad again. Let's recap nice and slow from the beginning. that's halfway through and really the second time we're repeating almost all of that stuff exactly there's just one tiny difference but let's go from the beginning up to there and I'm going to play it really really slowly so you can stop and look at the diagrams wherever you need to Second time through is going to be almost the same exactly like I said, and I'll show you where there's just one slight difference. Same. This is where it's different. Okay, you want to go da, 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 hammer on, pick, da, uh, pick, hammer on, down, and then go over here and bar, play that note, and then play this shape to get this melody note up here. Playing F minor 7. We're gonna play that once, strumming down. Go down here to play with your pinky, this fifth fret on the third string, and then up to what we did before. Everything else is the exact same. Okay, so. Okay, so here it is from the, from the beginning of the second half with that slight difference of the melody going up on that F minor seven chord. is a beautiful structure to have the whole phrasing repeat and have the melody just go up higher and then down one lower and that's all it goes up to this note down to this and uh it, it's a beautiful balance just compositionally it's so wonderful so i'm going to play both parts in a row the whole thing extremely slow again so you can see the diagrams as you need to and then maybe we'll do it one more time a little sped up
between the two, I like to play this root. So I'm throwing like a root here, a root there. That's just an arrangement thing where I'm filling in space. Instead of letting it hang, I'm kind of anchoring it down just because it's a solo guitar thing. So it might be where a drum beat would have happened or a bass player would have played something, but we're just playing us. So boom, doom, dun, dun. it's not part of the melody or you know anything about the song other than just like there's a beat there and a space there and I'm going to play the root. So like at the end, um, da, 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 ba, ba, root and going back into it okay i'm going to do one more demonstration not totally up to speed super fast but not the really slow one i'd say just like a nice mellow version of this that really works as an end result something that we could we could play and enjoy the sound of i like it a little slower than the recording which it kind of has to be for how hard this is to play but here's a demonstration of that Surprisingly, this is my first video where I've done this format, where I just have a little arrangement and then just walk through and say, play this fret, play this fret, here's how you play it. If you liked it and you want me to do any other songs, we can do this with any song. Make a little arrangement that works totally on the guitar by itself, solo guitar, and then I can walk you through it in that same way, especially if the fretboard diagram uh, worked for you as I was playing. So let me know in the comments if there's songs you want to learn that way, I'll do more of them. And if not, that's totally fine too. If you don't have it yet, download my free solo guitar arrangement PDF pack. There's a bunch of tunes that are solo guitar arrangements, a complete sound, melody, harmony, bass, all in one thing. There's tabs and notation for a bunch of tunes in that pack. This song isn't in there, but there's a bunch of other good stuff, and I have videos about all of those, which I'll send you a link to if you get the pack. Um, and that's totally for free. There's a link in the description to grab it, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash moon. If you're interested in uh, playing these types of arrangements, then uh, that's a great resource to have in front of you to work on the technique and uh, the voicings and everything like that. If you want a video to watch next, I recommend checking out my walking baseline arrangement of Scrubs by TLC. Um, it's a cool video and a cool arrangement and kind of funny. So I'll put a link to it on the screen here. If you're watching on YouTube, you can go straight to it or there's a link in the description if you want to get to it there. I post a lesson video every week. Next week, I'm going to do a lesson on the right hand rolling technique for finger style and classical, how to roll chords gracefully. It's going to be a good lesson. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.